Hi there, YouTube. Sorry I haven't uh, been uploading any videos for a while. Uh, I figured I should probably take this opportunity to explain just what happened. So, um, here's the deal. I'm going to jail, and I'll probably be there for a while. So, I'm thinking um, probably in about 30 years I'll be able to, um, to continue making my Let's Play videos. So, I'll, I'll see you folks all then in about uh, 30 years, or maybe if I get off with good behavior, uh, you know, you might see me in a little over 10 years. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. So, uh, so yeah, uh, sorry to uh, keep you folks waiting, but uh, I'll be back, I promise. Just give me uh, a couple of decades or so, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to continue my, uh, my videos. Uh, no, actually, uh, of course, what, uh, you know, that's, that's obviously a joke. Uh, I was thinking of doing a rickroll for... Um, April Fool's Day, but that's that, that's already way, way too many people are already doing Rick rolls. I thought, uh, no, nah, I need to need to not do that because you've probably already been Rick rolled at least once today. I know several people who have been Rick rolled several times today. So, you know, what actually happened was um, I got really sick last week, and I just I didn't have a voice that was um, capable of of really doing let's play videos. My, my voice just wasn't up to it. And I'm feeling better now, um, but uh, my real life schedule has changed. Unfortunately, uh, real life keeps kind of coming back to uh, to haunt me, even when I try to get away from it. So yeah, my uh, my schedule in terms of uh, stuff that I do besides making let's play videos, because believe it or not, I actually do other stuff with myself as well. Um, is kind of problematic right now, so I'm going to be going to be uh, having a little bit of a uh, trickier time finding the uh, the time to make uh, make videos. Uh, and I'm sorry to all my loyal fans, because I know I've actually accumulated, I'm, I'm actually really surprised, I've really accumulated um, a fair-sized uh, list of, of uh, subscribers, and I'm, I'm so grateful to all of them. It's really gratifying to know that that many people like my videos. That's great. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry sorry to disappoint everybody. I'm I'm still gonna be uh, you know I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna be making videos, but um, I don't know how frequently I'll be able to update. And uh, I want to also give a nod to her crabbiness who just highlighted me uh, a few days ago. She made a nice little tribute video uh, about some of her favorite uh, let's players. And I know she mentioned me. She had some very nice things to say about me. So nod to her. I appreciate uh, I appreciate uh, what she said. And uh, and you should go check her out as well. By the way, she's uh, although she's also kind of on hiatus right now, but uh, but she's also a great let's player. She's really good. Um, as well as several of my other uh, loyal subscribers, um, I. I could mention a few other people, but I think she already mentioned most of the people who do uh, adventure game Let's Plays. And, uh, let's see, what do we have going on here? Boy, like half a dozen pavers retired while I was uh, just talking. Anyway, yeah, um, so, yeah, other exciting news in, in the Let's Play world. Actually, I'm, I'm excited that Howard Senial is back. He was on a hi hiatus for about a month, but he's back. Uh, Deceased Crab is uh, Let's Playing La Mulana again, as sort of a uh, tribute to the one year mark, because it's been a, a year since he started making Let's Play videos. And arguably, Deceased Crab, of course, is one of the people who made Let's Play videos a popular form of uh, entertainment in the first place, so I guess that's news. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'll I'll still be here. I'm still planning to continue my uh, my let's play of Trial by Fire, and uh, and Robot Odyssey, as well as occasional random games like this one, for example. What you're looking at right now, you may be wondering just what the heck is this game that uh, that has been playing out on the screen while I've been talking. This is Green. That's the name of the game. It is uh, yeah called Green from Cascoli Software. It is a shareware game, a nice enough little shareware game. And basically the object of the game is um, you control a team of planters, like this gentleman who just scrolled off the screen, but there is a, um, a farmhand looking sort of fellow who uh, was tending to these plants. Here he goes, here he is again in his uh, blue overalls and bright red shirt, and he's got a little straw hat on as well. 
you control a, uh, a team of planters whose job is to uh, basically plant lots of stuff. And you are working against the pavers, who are these uh, gentlemen in the blue uh, business suits, who are trying to put down lots of pavement. Basically, it's uh, you know a game with an environmental kind of theme. You're trying to uh, get the pavers to retire while encouraging your planters to plant more, so that you know you retain this uh, nice little field of, uh, of trees and shrubs and hedges and so it doesn't get uh, paved over. Basically it's uh, you know the whole they paved over paradise to put in a parking lot kind of thing. Uh, let's see and you can control your planters with F5. I just pressed F5 and I'm gonna make planter A rest because he looks tired and I guess D is getting tired as well so I'll say D rest. You can get this nice uh, overhead map by pressing F4 and here you can see all the uh, all the active characters so right now I uh, want to launch for example paver I is looking really active so where is he he's right here basically my strategy for this game just boils down to uh, put a lot of hedges around the uh, around the pavers because that discourages them that gets them uh, that kind of trips them up because they have to wade through a lot of hedges to uh, to put down their their paving. And I don't know if it's a very good strategy, but uh, it's generally worked for me. Although then again, I'm just playing this game on the easiest setting. On the uh, on more difficult settings, maybe you need a little bit uh, more advanced strategy. I don't know. Let's see. Planters A and C are looking pretty well rested, so I'll have them... Uh, I'll tell them to grow now. I'll have them grow some nice plants and uh, discourage those uh, those pavers even more. So yeah, um, and by the way, this game really is real. Uh, you might think that it's... Uh, you might think that this is part of the joke, but no, I'm, I'm serious. This game uh, re really is um, the, the real thing. Uh, oh, and I just got a new, uh, new planter. That's great. So now I can uh, grow and plant even more plants. That's good news. So yeah, it's green. Uh, it's it's a kind of a fun little game, I guess, depending on what you're into. Um, yeah, just uh, another in my series of really bizarre games that uh, that kind of tickle a fancy with me because because uh, I, I like original games. I like games with original concepts that you don't see a lot. And this is uh, I don't think I've seen any other games that uh, that have you trying to fight against. A team of uh, of pavers, but then what do I know? Maybe I just haven't played enough games. I'm sure this is a whole uh, popular subgenre with uh, with millions of titles to choose from, and I'm just not uh, just not up on things enough to uh, to actually know what's what. So there you go. Anyway, just a cute little. Uh, little video. I hope everybody had a good April Fool's Day and that you didn't get uh, pranked too badly by uh, by your friends or maybe now ex-friends. And once again, yeah, I'm sorry that uh, I'm probably not going to be making as many videos as I used to, but I promise I will try to make some. I do intend to uh, still be around and still be making videos. I just don't know how frequently I'll update. So, hope everyone's okay. Thanks for watching, and take care, and I will see you folks around. Be good. Talk to you later.